a very, very intelligent where, question. Where they go, they kill people. It's a very, very intelligent question. Very, very intelligent question. And the question is, why are the Europeans so insecure about other people in the world? And why do you, after everywhere you go, you gotta kill and murder the rest of the people of the human family? Your history is written in the blood of the black, the brown, the yellow and the red. Why are you so insecure? Do you know what brings about insecurity? What brings about insecurity is when you have a false concept of yourself. Mm -hmm. And the false concept of self is white supremacy. They believe that they are better because they are white. And as a result, see, when a man has that kind of silly mentality, Hitler had the silly mentality that the white man, the Aryan, is superior. So then at the Olympics, Jesse Owens kicks up all the Aryans. Hitler is outraged. He's angry. That's very simplistic. Yeah. Well, you need it to be simplistic. You need it to be extra simplistic. The reality, I know, they can't, they can't handle, they, you know, look, when you, when you take a brick, when you take a brick, and you hurl the brick among a pack of dogs, only the dog who gets hit yelps. Think about it. But you hear a lot of barking, 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 barking. A dog just got hit by a brick. No teeth, it's very simplistic because it's not complicated. The white man pushing white supremacy. That's why they would cut off our penis when they would lynch us. Penis envy. They're afraid of the black man because of our potency, because of our manliness. Because when you look at the black man, He's a real man. He's strong. So then they would have us as mandingos fighting one another. That's why even today, they want to be the heavyweight champion of the world. They can't find a white man to do it. So they tried to turn a black man, Frank Bruno, into a white man. <laughs> they, called him the, they called him the great white hope. They, they're desperate. They, 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 they deny us. I want you to, I'm talking about the insecurities. We're not allowed to play golf. Why are we not allowed to play golf? Because we are inferior. We can't play the game. But let one black man into golf. Then all of a sudden there's a tiger in the woods. And he, he doesn't just play golf. He becomes the master. We're not allowed to play tennis. Let black people into tennis. We go straight to Wimbledon and win it in 1935. A black woman. Now, Venus and Serena, they run out of opponents. They have to play each other. The white people cannot compete on an even playing field. They let us into athletics. You can't run like us. You let us into any field of endeavor, we dominate it. So they feel, see they push supremacy because there is an inert inferiority. Ahead, and so when somebody is inferior, they have to give the impression of being superior. Hence all the weapons, hence all the artillery, hence all the media and the, 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 the propaganda and the program of brainwashing the entire world into believing in their way of life as opposed to any other way of life. And they become very afraid of anything that goes contrary. And so every time a black man stands up for black people, Martin Luther King shot down. Malcolm X, shot down. Patrice Lumumba, shot down. Steve Biko, shot down. Everyone, Nelson Mandela, they locked him up for 27 years. They did a documentary the other day. In the documentary, you got the white man in South Africa. He's now admitting that for the 27 years, they had Nelson Mandela locked up. They said there was slow poison in him to destroy his mental faculties. When they deemed that he was no longer a potent force, they let him out. Now they let him out and they get children to play music and they say, Nelson dance. And they show the world the great statesman, Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela, whose wife, Winnie Mandela, a warrior queen, kept 
kept his name alive and kept the struggle going for 27 years. Nelson comes out, they, 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 they slander her name. Nelson leaves her. Now they target Winnie, because Winnie, when Nelson came and shook Margaret Thatcher's hand, went and shook Reagan's hand, Winnie said, I'm not shaking their hand. They are the enemy. Right. So Winnie wouldn't bow, Nelson would bow. So they said, okay, now we embrace Nelson. Give him to the world as the great statesman. Look, he's wonderful, look. He smiles with everybody. He dances. Because that's how you like to see the black man. Dancing. Right. See, Farrakhan don't dance. Come on. Right. The nation of Islam don't dance. We're soldiers. Right. You don't like to see a black soldier. Because you think that your armies are so great. You ain't seen an army till you see the black man's army. That's right. You ain't seen discipline. See, you're afraid of the Nazis. You talk about the Nazis and their jackboots. You ain't seen marching yet. When you see the black man, when he mobilizes, and you have never taken us on a no battlefield, never. You have only ever defeated black people via stealth, via divide and rule, via uh, feigning friendship and coming in and then destroying us from within. That's over. That's why, that's why you don't see none of you in this circle. It's now very clear. It's now very black and white. We no longer are asking for acceptance. We no longer are asking you, love us. Can't you see we're human beings too? No, now we say, get thee behind me, Satan. Right. Now we say, we stand with God. George Bush says, you're either with me or you're with the terrorist. We say to George Bush, we're not with you and we're not with the terrorists. We stand with God. That's right. That's right. See, that's, there's a third choice. Come on. But George Bush thinking himself to be yeah. so right. omnipotent. Yeah. Come on. He's giving the world an alternative. You're either with me, sheer arrogance.